All right, Mysterians. The director of It <laughs> has two more movies coming out. And Black Mask has been cast. You and McGregor, bitches. Right now, I'm his cast, Entertainment News. That was interesting. Roll it. Here's Johnny. I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Boat. Welcome back, you miscast mysteries, to another episode of Miscast Entertainment News with your host, JJ. Help me, I'm poor. And Greg Cafaro. But in today's news, we have. And me, William Davis Moore. And now, let's get right into it with the news. Greg? All right. Hey, to start off, we've got the director of it, Annie Machete, has signed on to direct. A live action version of Attack on Titan. Never seen it. Never seen it. I know nothing. My goodness. My guy. My guy. I know not these things. Titan gets attacked? It's okay. So you've got a a city, country, whatever, getting attacked by these giants. Giants. Okay. Titans? Titans. These Titans. Okay. And then they form a group. uh, People are getting massacred, eaten. The Titans pick up a guy. Bite wow. their heads off. That looks okay. cool, dude. <laughs> Great yeah. so far, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So then, what happens to fight them back? They form a little force of these uh, young people who have these belts, these utility belt kind of things, and these swords. And these utility belts are like um, harpoons or um, grappling hooks, and they let them fly through the air so they can get up to the titans' necks and chop the back of their heads off. Well, it's like that Colossus game. I don't know. That's now now Shadow I don't the know Colossus. What you're Oh yeah, yeah, pretty much. They, okay. they climb shout the giant out, out the and bosses. then they just like stab him and stuff. Yeah, so uh, there's a lot of that going on on there. Uh, it's a very cool anime. There was a live action version uh, uh, made in Japan in 2015, a two parter, uh, which was pretty much crap. So now you got it was this crap. It was crap. Uh, it's not so, Scottish. It's crap. It's that's crap. It. It's crap. There you go. <laughs> so um, so now you got Annie Machete, the director of it, the two it movies. He signed on to direct that. And so I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped about that because I like the anime. The live action, I was excited about it until I saw it. And so now we got a new high budget live action version of this nice. coming out. So okay, it should I'll be pretty cool. Yeah. Well, um, that dude did awesome with it. I mean, look, I was having, this is a crazy story, but I was like having a fever. Like I, I don't get sick often, but when I do, I get freaking sick for some reason. I'm like having one of those fever dreams where you wake up and you're like cold, but you're sweating and... I look up at the, t- I had left the TV on, and then when I woke up in that fever dream, I saw like the clown like coming out of that damn projector going doom, 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 through the freaking garage, like all <laughs> huge and shit. That scared the shit out of me. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, so if this guy's going to direct some shit, I'm probably going to be on yeah. board. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but it's going to be <laughs> fun. And then fresh on the heels of that, like a day or two after he and they announced that he was going to do Attack on Titan. He, uh, they were announced that he's going to, that he signed on with Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio's Appy and Way to uh, direct a new adaptation of H.G. Wells' The Time Machine. Oh, shit. Cool. Yeah. So he's, I, got, he's got no free time. Uh, he's, he's booked. He's right. booked. He needs like a time machine to kind of like help him. Yeah, he might. He might. But I am a huge, huge fan of The Time Machine. Do we the know book if, if and the original movie is Leo going to be the dude in the time machine? No, that no. I think it's just under his Appian Way is under his production company. Um, oh, bummer. Yeah, I well, we'll see. Well, who knows? But um, I'm I'm excited to see that because I love the original movie. Yeah, me too. I love the book. There was the last time there was a, a Hollywood adaptation of the time machine was 2002 with Guy Pierce. Right, that was it was awesome. It was. It, I was it, gonna it, say no. It was it, not it was awesome. Okay. It had old boy. Uh, I like I like the older one, the first one. Yeah, that one was that really was cool. great. That was yeah. from '67. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was amazing too, yeah. man. That was a good one, dude. H.G. Wells. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> uh, one of my old H.G. Wells books. is like. Was he like the guy who kind of like Maybe. created like the... He's like the godfather of, of science fiction. Yeah, science fiction, so like time travel. He could be, could be. I, no, I'm, I'm a sucker know. for time travel movies. Well, he's not the godfather of science fiction. Yeah. I'm going to go uh, Jules Verne. What's your okay. favorite What's your favorite time travel movie? 
For me, it's oh, primer. Oh, Back to the Future. Primer, easy, primer easy. to me is like the... Yeah, I guess you got to go Back to the Future. Yeah, I, 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 I'm yeah. Back to the Future made no sense. I mean, those those pictures... What? None of them make sense. Themselves, Listen, that, that's not possible. But none of they them make sense. start off with the Twin Pines Mall, and by the end of the movie, it's a One Pine Mall because he knocked down that one Every pine. single time travel movie ends with the paradox that can't exist. So you can't say it doesn't make sense because if you do a time travel movie, you've immediately made a paradox. Yeah. What about like, Looper? Looper is the biggest paradox because yeah. it's Looper him was with him. Huge paradox. Yeah. It was it was good movie, but it was not my favorite. There was only one doc. In no, that but movie. at least they addressed it because uh, Bruce Willis and Looper at least says like, "I don't want to talk about time travel because if we start talking about it, then we're going to be here all day talking about it, making diagrams with straws." We both know how this has to go down. <laughs> yeah, because they knew that would lead them down yeah. the path that they could have recovered from. All right, so let's move on. So um, yeah, so I'm fuck I, you, I'm Ryan excited. Johnson. Fuck you all day long. Yeah, so. <laughs> That's my Topher Grace. You want to know what's on my goddamn Mount Rushmore? Ryan fucking Johnson. Although, his, <laughs> although Ryan Johnson's new movie, that Knives Out, has got an incredible cast yes, coming out. Yes, I'll watch that. Yeah, We're all going to watch that. You're going to watch I'm that. I'm going to watch that. Yeah, of course I'm going yeah, to, because so. he's not directing fucking Star yeah. Wars. Was there any of the criticism that you read that you may feel is now kind of fair? No, no. But We're I'm happy to ruin people's childhoods. The, thi the <laughs> thing is, though, especially... Looper was awesome, by the way. Yeah. Looper was a good movie. So fun. All right, so next, next. we got... You and McGregor are signed on to play Black Ian. Mask. It's Ian. Ian. How do you want to say it? You and McGregor. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. Has signed on to play Black <laughs> Mask, aka Roman Sionis. Sionis? I don't know how to pronounce that. Well, name. Does he have the high ground in this in, movie? Yes. He might be. Hello there. Yeah. No, he definitely has the high ground. Uh, he better have the high ground. He's, he's, he's the kingpin of this order. I have the high ground. So he signed on to play Black Mask in the Birds of Prey movie. Cool. I think it's awesome. Alongside, you got Margot Robbie reprising a role as Harley Quinn. Right. You got Mary Elizabeth Winstead from Live Free or Die Hard and The Thing remake playing uh, the Huntress. Yeah. And somebody named Journey Smollett Bell uh, from Friday Night Lights and, um, and Hands of Stone uh, boxing movie playing Black Canary. Now, I've never heard of any of these characters except for Harley Quinn. Are these from a cartoon? Oh, uh, uh, from their book? DC. They're yeah, all from it's kind of like a girls badass kind of Suicide Squad, but okay. chicks only kind of okay. like like Ocean's Eight of oh. Suicide Squad, but but <laughs> like an Ocean's Eight, but that somebody will watch. Uh, yeah, this looks pretty. No, no, no uh, that I, remains to be seen. Yes, it does remain to be seen, but uh, you and McGregor the ups the chances of people watching it. I yeah, think. okay. In is in. gonna definitely got me on board, and Margot Robbie because man, if she puts on pants like that again, I'm just gonna. I'm yeah. just going to watch. Hot pants are definitely a good selling I'm point. I'm just going to watch. Right. Yeah. Apparently, I she married Poison Ivy now. So. Le uh, lesbian really? Marriage? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Like, they're, they're hardcore, like, into each other. Hmm. Like, the latest one, the, the Batman uh, and Harley thing, which was really... I don't know if you guys have seen it. No. But it's borderline freaking, like, Nightwing Harley porn. She shags Nightwing. She ties into a bed and, like, un undresses. Nice. They show all this shit. I'm, I, I, really I don't think YouTube has a problem with uh, that kind of stuff, yeah. so... It's all good. Oh, Lord. Uh, now, the Avatar sequels have been revealed. The uh, titles of the Avatar sequels what have been revealed. What are they? Okay. Wait, hold on. Let me get ready because I really have Prepare no idea. Prepare yourselves for this. Uh, okay. So the first one was called Avatar. First one was just, just playing the Avatar. What's with, the second one with called? With papyrus font. JJ's going to have a freaking seizure in a second. With a papyrus <laughs> font. that They've done away with the papyrus font now because of that SNL sketch. Right. Sketch. Okay. So now the second one is called Avatar The Way of Water. The Way of Water. Yeah, we okay. all knew it was going to be like underwater. Or and that shit. one is scheduled to hit theaters on December 18th of 2020. Wet. Wet. The water is wet. Underwater. Another news, water is wet. Avatar Moist. Oh, damn. The second one moist is going to be called Navi. Avatar the Seed Bearer. The Seed Bearer? The Seed Bearer. <laughs> what the How fuck? Can, there's going to be so much freaking porn parody <laughs> over <mean>. that. Like, <laughs> that just seed lends bearer. itself to it. Okay. What is wrong with get James Cameron, man? <laughs> I'm wearing your seat. And that one's going to come out in December of 2021. Come out. Come out. How? Can you imagine, like, if because a Navi's like three times taller than a human. Yeah. Like, if he's spewing all over a little human. Dude. It would be like a bath of, like, yeah. Navi seed. Awful. <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone. Okay. Is it blue? Does it glow? Like, yes. <laughs> That's a good question. I don't Does it smell like plants? All right. The third one is going to be called the third sequel. The four which is seed cool. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. All right. So the third one, the third sequel, is going to be called Avatar: The Tolkien Writer. Oh, 
fuck. Oh my god, is he like playing with the audience? I, like, is I, he, like, point, like, yeah, it certainly <laughs> feels like it. He wants people uh, to fucking blue out. And then the last one, and that one's supposed to come out in uh, December of 2024. Okay, that one's gonna so you come go, in 2024. You go 2021, oh. and then a three year gap to 2024. Oh, gap. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, we did it again! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, and then you got the. <laughs> here. Oh my! And you got the last one. It's oh going to no. be called. There's a last one. There is. Everybody there needs is. more powder. Oh What's movies. it called? Five What's movies it, in total. All right, Avatar. It's not as bad as the other ones. The Quest for Awa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a bad title, but it's not as doesn't lend itself too that's much. That's about anal sex. It is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. The Quest for Anal. Yeah. You know that's leave the porn. To, leave it to JJ. That's the porn parody right AWOL there. The Quest sex. for Anal. Yeah. Like the Awa seed bearer. Oof. Yeah, Brazier's. Yeah, that's coming out in twenty twenty. Brazier's, we claim that first. Yeah. It's on record so right now. My question is: Do you do you care about Avatar at this point? It's been yes. too long, man. It's, it's no, been I too do. long. Okay, I do. All right, so there, there's a, Dude, there's a, honestly like, I think reboots have had smaller windows than this Avatar sequel has. For real. Yes. So th- I think that's the challenge yes. because, look, when the first Avatar came out, I loved it. I thought it was amazing. If, right. if a sequel would have come out. Two or three years after that, I would have been a hundred percent in. But man, it's been a long time, so I have concerns. And, and how much? How and how often are you going back? And is Avatar on your repeated viewing list? No, uh, no, exactly. No, I, I gotta say though, I have been to Animal Kingdom in Orlando, Florida, okay. which for us here in uh, Boca, it's still like a, a two drive, yeah, two, two hour drive, two and a half hours. Mm-hmm. And, uh, dude, that place is amazing. Okay. What I haven't they, been there yet. What they did Oh, my there, gosh. It looks like the shit's actually floating, right? Yeah. Like, they did an amazing job there. I, I want to check it out. And but yeah. the lines for these rides are like three hours long, yeah. and people are standing in front of them. So, Did you do the ride, the one that goes under the... No, the it was like three hours for a ride. I'm, uh, I have better things to do with my time than stand three hours it's in a really fucking beautiful. line at Disney World. That's so always a that. downfall. That's it's super beautiful. Good. Yeah, fuck you, Disney Whoa, World. Oh, look at that. It looks just like uh, So anyway, Avatar I mean, Land. maybe we should do like a live show from from over there one day, you know, maybe when the movies come out. But sure. but for now, I mean, they did an amazing job at recreating it and that place is packed. So it I is. know I know that there's a lot of love for Avatar. Yeah. There a is a lot of love. There is. But will people like clamor to go see another Avatar movie? I mean, that remains to be seen. Yeah, the internet's kind of divided on this. Yeah. And, and <clears throat> I'm in the same boat as you, like too much time has passed and my uh, interest has waned quickly. Uh, I'm not watching this movie r- repeatedly. And at this point, I, I'm going to go on record right I now and say you guys are both fucking bullshit and full of shit. So like, Avatar is going to be fucking amazing. It's a James, Cam- James Cameron endeavor. He does not fail. Yeah. It's going to f- he the technology we're going to see in this is 3D without 3D glasses for one. So without what? without anything. How? How does we'll that see. work? I'm, Ask I'm, Cam- James Cameron. I'm he skeptical. invented like shooting movies like the I'm way he did with that. the first Avatar. But I have an astigmatism. Is he going to be able to yeah, count? You can't watch the movie at all. It, it doesn't You're work. You're not allowed. Look, <clears throat> look, he hasn't released the technology and how it works, so we can't really speculate on it. But, yeah. I, but I can tell you one thing. His major freaking concern and why it's been delayed for so long is because he couldn't get his technology right. Now he's getting it right. It's 3D without 3D glasses. Yeah, I'm skeptical of how that's going to work, if that's going to work. It's going to be balls to the wall. All right, guys, that's it. That's it. Thank you for watching because we love it when you watch. And we also love it when you comment below and hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Peace. This is why we're here, because this little green plant sells for 3,000 a kilo. Their council state happens to be the dealer's turf, and we need them to relocate. Come on then, let's fucking have some!